In the evolving landscape of modern warfare, electronic warfare aircraft play a pivotal role in shaping the battle space by disrupting enemy sensors, communications, and air defenses. Two prominent platforms in the Indo-Pacific region are Australia's Boeing EA-18G Growler and China's Shenyang J-16D, both designed for electronic attack and suppression of enemy air defenses. While the Growler is a combat-proven derivative of the F-A-18F Super Hornet, the J-16D is a newer variant of the Russian-derived J-16 multi-role fighter. The EA-18G Growler, operated by the Royal Australian Air Force with a fleet of 12 aircraft under No. 6 Squadron at Royal Australian Air Force Base Amberley, is built on the robust and versatile F-A-18F Super Hornet platform. Sharing over 90% commonality with its multi-role sibling, the Growler benefits from a proven airframe, Advanced Raytheon AN APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, and a two-seat configuration that optimizes the workload between the pilot and electronic warfare officer. Its design sacrifices the internal 20mm cannon and wingtip air-to-air -air missiles for specialized EW equipment, including ALQ-218, V2 wideband receiver pods, and ALQ-99 jamming pods. Australia has invested significantly in upgrading its growlers under Project AR-5349 Phase 6, a $2 billion Australian dollars initiative that integrates longer-range anti-radiation missiles, enhanced sensors, and the next-generation jammer system to counter modern, agile radar systems. In contrast, the J-16D, a variant of the Shenyang J-16, derived from the Russian Sukhoi Su-27, is a larger, twin-engine, two-seat platform tailored for electronic warfare. While exact specifications are less public, its airframe suggests superior speed, up to Mach 2, range and payload capacity compared to the Growler. The J60D features a redesigned nose radome, likely housing an ASO radar, and carries wingtip electronic warfare pods analogous to the ALQ-2118, alongside multiple jamming pods optimized for different frequency bands. Unlike the Growler, the J16D retains multi-role capabilities, allowing it to engage in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions alongside its electronic warfare tasks. In terms of electronic warfare capabilities, the Growler suite is mature and combat-tested, drawing on over a decade of U.S. Navy operational experience. Its core systems include the ALQ-2V2 for detecting and geolocating enemy radars, ALQ-99 pods for jamming radar and communications, and the ALQ-227 for disrupting enemy communications across a broad spectrum. The transition to NGJ, combined with machine learning algorithms from the U.S. Navy's REAM program, enhances its ability to counter adaptive, frequency-agile threats. The Growler excels in escort and standoff jamming, electronic intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and CAD missions, supported by its integration with AGM-88 HARM missiles. The J-16D, introduced in 2015 and showcased at the 2021 Zhuhai Air Show, is equipped with wingtip electronic warfare pods for radar analysis and multiple underwing jamming pods, potentially using ESA technology for improved performance. While Chinese sources claim its electronic warfare suite may surpass the Growlers due to its larger payload capacity, these assertions remain unverified, and the system's combat effectiveness is unproven. The J-16D's design emphasizes integration with China's Kill Web strategy, coordinating with naval and air defense systems to counter adversary electronics in contested regions like the South China Sea. However, its relative immaturity and lack of transparency make it difficult to assess its true capabilities compared to the Growler's well-documented systems. Armament further distinguishes the two aircraft. The Growler typically carries up to five ALQ-99 pods, two AM-120 AM RAM air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense, and two AGM-88 HARM missiles for CAD, with Australia upgrading to the longer-range AGM-88G AARGM-ER for enhanced lethality. Its nine weapon stations allow flexible configurations, balancing electronic warfare and kinetic options. The J-16D benefiting from the J-16's 12 hardpoints, likely carries a mix of jamming pods, 
anti-radiation missiles and air-to-air -air missiles with potential air-to-ground capabilities. While its larger payload capacity suggests greater flexibility, specific J-16D loadouts are less clear, and its anti-radiation missiles may not match the AARGMER's range or sophistication. The Growler's armament is optimized for C-8 and EW, while the J-16D's multi-role heritage allows broader mission profiles, though this may dilute its electronic warfare focus. Operational experience underscores a significant gap between the two platforms. The Growler. Operational with the US Navy since 2009 and the Royal Australian Air Force since 2017. Has seen combat in operations like Odyssey Dawn in Libya and exercises like Pitch Black, proving its reliability and effectiveness. Its high readiness, supported by Super Hornet Logistics and US-Australian collaboration, ensures consistent performance. The J-16D, by contrast, has no known combat deployments, with its operational history limited to Chinese exercises and airshow demonstrations. Its newer systems may face integration challenges, and China's opaque development process raises questions about reliability. The Growler's interoperability with US, NATO, and allied forces enhances its value in coalition operations, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, while the J-16D is designed for China's insular strategic framework, limiting its collaborative potential. Strategically, the Growler strengthens Australia's deterrence in a region increasingly dominated by China's advanced air defenses, such as the S-400 and HQ-9 systems. It complements the Royal Australian Air Force's F-35A and F-A-18F fleets, enabling joint operations to counter regional threats. However, its small fleet size limits scalability and reliance on U.S. technology introduces supply chain dependencies. The J-16D supports China's assertive posture in areas like the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea, integrating with the PLA's broader defense network. Chinese claims, including a 2023 incident involving the type's Euro-55 destroyer Nanchang, allegedly countering growler jamming, suggest confidence in its capabilities, but these remain unverified and may serve propaganda purposes. The J-16D's larger airframe and payload offer potential advantages, but its unproven performance and lack of combat experience temper its strategic impact. In conclusion, Australia's EA-18G Growler holds a clear edge over China's J-16D due to its mature, combat-proven electronic warfare suite, advanced upgrades, and seamless integration with allied forces. Its operational reliability, enhanced by U.S. collaboration, makes it a cornerstone of the Royal Australian Air Force's regional strategy, despite its limited fleet size. The J-16D, while promising with its larger platform and potential for advanced systems, remains an untested contender with speculative claims of superiority. As electronic warfare continues to shape modern conflicts, the Growler's proven capabilities and interoperability position it as the superior platform for now, though the J-16D's development warrants close monitoring as China advances its technological ambitions.